Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, and welcome to another one of my Fortnite videos. In this video here, we're gonna be looking into the new gun that they have introduced and hyped with videos and whatnot. I'm gonna be crafting it, testing it out, and sharing what I think about it with you guys. It is, of course, the Bald Eagle, and as I dig into this here, buy it, evolve it, and look into its perks that, for me, are pretty crap. I really hope you guys are going to get better rolls than this, so keep it in mind as you, like, check out this review of the weapon here that I have. I feel I have pretty bad rolls on it, but I wanted to do a shout out to Angry Dell, a fellow YouTuber and in-game friend of mine that makes the absolutely most amazing Fortnite weapon videos. He also made a video on the Ranger Outlander that is a gun expert and he has some really insightful thoughts and like stats about these things. So Angry Dell, check him out if you are into Fortnite weapons and classes. Really amazing stuff. With that said, and done guys crafting it and testing it out here for the very first shot it was 40k 28k so like you can see I'm doing some very decent damage here I feel with uh, with this new hand cannon going completely Clint Eastwood style here just you know sexy female instead but I guess that's like one upping him uh, <laughs> sorry Clint Eastwood I mean go ahead make my day punk anyway hand cannon made tested played it out with the soldier and I pretty early got the feeling that what I had in my hand was a sniper pistol. I mean, I'm dealing 100,000 here. And the, like the main thing with this gun is that, like I said, it feels like a sniper, but I'm just not getting the sniper type of damage. 353,000 damage. So I figured I had to test it out with a class that was better with pistols. And for that, I have the Ranger Beetle Jess. She has increased pistol critical hit damage. She increases her chance to get criticals with pistols. She has increased pistol damage. So I have a class here that is amazing with pistols. So I figured, all right, let's like do this correctly. Let us level up Beetle Jess and check out how the gun performs in her hands instead of Ramirez's hands because they're both very nice female hands so you know let them handle it <laughs> okay I'm kidding. Of course, she is better at using pistols than Ramirez, so that is why I figured I would test it out with her as well. So I'm leveling her up and just giving you guys the show of her as well. And of course, this makes it a little more than just a like weapon demonstration. It is also a, a class demonstration, but I really figured I had to do this properly by also using a proper hero for it, and that is why I'm doing a two-in-one here. So <laughs> yay, bonus time! I do not have really cool tactical and support slot options for Beetle Jess or for pistols. Beetle Jess herself increases pistol damage if she is placed in the support slot, so that would be ideal. I do have epic variants of the hero that I could use, but bottom line is I don't really have anything really amazing to slot into the tactical and support squads for Beetle Jess, so keep that in mind as well. I could be getting a lot more critical damage, I could be getting more base hit damage if I had better support squads, so you could probably add in like 50% additional damage. So so, so yeah, I'm going with this here quick clip and pressure point because they match up with the class. And the reason why I wanted to try out quick clip was because this weapon loads so slowly. It was probably an error on my behalf to go shadow shot with it instead of obsidian because it really makes the weapon slower but pack in a higher punch. But then again, I'm not really that used to playing an outlander. I'm not that used to playing pistols. But I wanted to test it out as well because it, it has been pretty hyped with videos and whatnot. And yeah, like I said, when I was playing with Ramirez, I felt like I had a sniper in my hand. Starting out with Beetle just playing exclusively with the Bald Eagle, that was the same feeling that I had. This is a hand cannon, but it doesn't really pack the same punch as a sniper does. It is as slow as a sniper, and it deals less damage, at least for me with the things that I have available. So, like, that was a bit of a minus for it. I would rather have the one shot, the Heart Seeker, the triple tap. I was doing a decent amount of 100k hits with Beetle Jess and she can two to four shot a laser beamer. She can one shot most of the normal husks so it is not because this weapon doesn't deal damage but what I did afterwards after going in and doing some initial like weapon testing was to test it out more normal game style because nobody's running around just using a sniper. Nobody's using just their hand cannon. It has to be used in combination with the abilities that the class has in order to be like some kind of a viable test. 
chest. So I started out doing that as well, using my teddy bears to do some cleaning up, using my hand cannon just to remove the things that my abilities could not handle. And that made the hand cannon, <laughs> the bald eagle, suddenly appear much better because I wasn't using it as a sniper for creep control. So it is very important when you consider these weapons that you consider the situation you're going to be using them in. Here I had a 118, I think it was, on, on a smasher. So as you can see, serious damage here that you can use with this. And being being the ranger beetle just is like your ninja in there, pow, 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 you ninja out again. If it's crowd control, you put down your teddy. It is not like you're not supposed to take out an army with your big gun. So like that has to be taken into consideration again when you think about how good is this weapon because it's all about your playstyle, it's all about the class, it's all about the usage and of course the roles on it. Here you can see like <laughs> the correct way to deal with creep using something such as the teddy or a shock tower. Another thing that is very important to keep in mind <laughs> is that you're never going to be playing with just one gun. Right here I have my piston spitter, one of my favorite guns. It is crazy fast, huge impact, so it is a knockback speedy gun, well a <laughs> pistol, that I can use with Beetlejuice as well. So if I'm going to be in a situation where I need to deal with a lot of mobs in a short amount of time. I don't want to have a gun that deals a huge amount of <laughs> damage but has an insanely loading time that is going to <laughs> make me die before I can handle the mobs. All in all, I do feel that I'm dealing more damage using my piston spitters than I am with my bolt eagle that has been involved an entire tier more. I can get more shots off with my piston spitter in the same time as I use the bolt eagle so that my DPS, my impact and knockback, everything really seems better for me when I'm using the piston spitter compared to the bold eagle. All in all guys I have to say with what I tried out I gave this like three hours of gameplay on a soldier on beetle just it just doesn't really cut it for me. Okay it has a high impact damage but really the outlander can pull out the sniper as well and I would rather do that if I had to hit hard because I could even do it from much further away. So guys that was my thoughts on the bold eagle I hope you enjoyed. As always guys thank you very much and very much for watching.